started painting again after years of not painting, I learned the hard way something that I should avoid it or done differently. Before we begin with the video, please distract the like button with Games Workshop new releases and put his favorite detail brush, Brittle Side Down, in the pot of water. So watch this video in order not to struggle with these same things and go f crazy! Number one, stop hedge highlighting everything! <laughs> When I first started picking the hobby up after my childhood, I painted my Space Marine basically using just head highlighting in order to make them stand out. After hours and hours spent using this effective but very slow technique, I figured out another way to highlight. This method was more realistic and quick than hedged highlighting everything. And while painting Space Marines, it's pretty easy to figure out where to place the highlights, because basically they're the same. And this is why I would tell you not to use on every single part of the model hedge highlight, because hedge highlight, it should go only in certain places. Hedge highlighting should go on the hedges that face towards the light. This, 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 this. And if you have a hard time understanding where to place the light, well, just copy it. Number two, change that f***ing water. It might seem very idiotic and simple. Frequently changing your water between sessions is very important in order to not have particles and dirt and shitty stuff on your miniature. And this I used to do it a lot. I used to have these pots with all these colors swirling around. And I have to admit, sometimes it still happens. But yeah, it's very bad, both for your mini and for your brushes as well. Speaking about brushes, number three, having good colors and brushes. When I started purchasing better colors and better brushes, the change was exponential. I no longer had that annoyingly satin finish on my miniatures. I didn't have to put up with my paint brushes splitting after two hours of use and this drastically changed my miniature painting game. So go buy stuff. Number four, paper towel instead of cloth. Now, I think possibly that's applicable only to me as a person because I think probably I'm the only person that does this. If you do, watching right now, you're not alone. So if you by chance you're using a uh, cotton or whatever other material cloth to dry your brush after you rinse it in water, stop, don't. Now, it took me a while to understand that all the particles that I had on my paint, it wasn't just from the dirty, dirty pot of water that I had, but I also had these particles that came from the cloth of dirt and dust and stuff like that. And as soon as I started using actual paper towel like normal people, that'll change. Smart. Pro painter here. Number five, pigment deposit in brush strokes. Last but not least from the things that actually changed my miniature painting journey is understanding where the pigment deposit in the brush strokes. And this is pivotal to understand for intermediate painters, also for beginners as well, because this knowledge will make you more aware while applying washes and contrast paints. That's it. If you want to see more tips and hacks, definitely watch this video and I will see you there. Well, past me, we'll see you. Uh,